All products in this video was bought from Chaos Cards, and you could also buy other trading card games, board games, role playing games, dice, accessories for said board or card games, and miniature games. Ruth here, and this is the Mew pin collection for Hidden Fates. As you see, at least we have a different pack art, but we still have a Mew. But we've got a, Char a shiny Charizard pack art in here. No Mew 2 or anything, but still, shiny Charizard looks pretty epic to me. Anyway, we have a Mew pin, which is at least a different position than the other Mew pin. Um, and a really cute little Mew promo right here. So, this is the back. Massive power in a tiny package, because it is really tiny Pokemon. Sometimes big power doesn't show up in a massive size, but no one can deny that Mew is a very powerful Pokemon. While it has plenty of charm, it also comes with the power of being the very first mythical Pokemon. Some people even think it might be the ancestor of all other Pokemon. Though, saying that, technically, Arceus is called the, what, the god of Pokemon or something? So wouldn't he have come first before Mew or not? I have no clue. I mean, it's possible. I don't know. Anyway, yes. Um, I shall open it and be right back. Okay, here we have the three pack arts. Definitely two pack arts, just three packs. It's a very cool, shiny Charizard. Then we have the lovely pin here. Very cute. So you'd think the uh the guy would be Anyway, as I was saying, you'd think like this this bit right here after the iris or whatever, the eye, would be white. Wouldn't it? That's still the like, same color as the skin, so I'm guessing it probably should have been white. But it doesn't look white. But anyway. Yeah. There's a pin. There is a bit of a smudge on it though. I don't know whether it's just in it or something. It looks like a bit of the enamel just isn't quite right on it. Which is a bit of annoying, but there we go. Anyway. Here is the cute Mew with Bench Barrier and Psy Power with the promo SM215. Okay, so now let's get on to opening this thing. So since it is, we'll go like this. Charizard. Mew Charizard. Okay, let's try this. The camera's a bit well, lower than my face, so I'm not sure if I get this one in the shot properly. Hopefully, I can. But I'm probably not. <laughs> It seems like all of the hidden fake code cards are white, so by the looks of it. Okay, is this in camera? Yes. Okay, so psychic. Charmeleon. Brass Grit. Farfetch. Coughing. Altor. Cubone. Geodude. Eevee. Ooh, reverse Jolteon, that's always nice. Very nice. And... Ta-da! Blaine's Last Stand. 
Isn't that the same art from Dragon Majesty? Oh. Okay, so that's the lovely. Shine. Oops. Okay. I saw a shiny, shiny goodness. Okay. So, dark energy. Ooh, Sabrina's suggestion. It's nice. Charmeleon. You got Charmeleon twice in a row. Ooh, Misty's determination. Slowpoke. Fairy. Coughing. Voltor, Cubone, ooh, we've got a dark energy, this is like similar to uh, Shining Legends, isn't it, I think, because it is sort of a subset, isn't it, because there's no booster box, oh, now I'm going to have to collect all the reverse energies now, <laughs> oh well. No hardship for me. It's one of the best my wallet. And, ooh, we've got a Starmie GX. How about that? Lovely. Let me just. There. So pretty. There you go. That's a bit sharper, right? Voila. Okay. Alright, so that's that. So, last Charizard, let's push into the last magic here. Let me get a full art from here, it would be awesome. <laughs> if only. I don't see a shiny on the corner. Here we got a fire energy. Magmar, Misty, Cerulean City Gym. Oh, I need a reverse of that now. <laughs> so I've got a Brock's Gym, that's a reverse. Now I just need Misty's one then, I guess. For the duo. Sabrina's Suggestion, Voltorb, Pikachu, Ekans, Coughing, Paris. Oh, look, I called it, didn't I? <laughs> as I said I needed Misty's Cerulean City Gym as a reverse and I've now got it what are the odds eh and we've got a Harbaugh with Jesse in the background that's pretty cool let me just put it up higher because I can't see that far away that's awesome and then she's sort of like on an island slash beach thingy let's, let's turn it up higher Cool. That's a very cool one. Ooh, also I want that Jesse and James card. That's cool. The most iconic bad guys because they're so terrible. <laughs> anyway, yes. So this Mew box was better because it came with the Starmie GX, which is awesome. I got this one. <laughs> actually, I'm happy with all of my reverses, actually. Because, like, Jolteon is an evolution. We got a reverse energy, which I do collect those anyway. And we got Misty Serene City Gym Reverse to go with the Brock's Pewter City Gym Reverse. But at least we pulled better than a normal holo. Though the last holo one was good because it was an evolution, too. Well, sort of just Eevee, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's, that's that. So, 
is great stuff. So that's the pulls from this box. So overall, I think the Mew box beat out the Mew 2 box. Though I might get another Mew box because this pin, I'm very particular on stuff. And when I can see there's a smudge on it, or in it, on, in, I don't know, it just, as I say, rubs me the wrong way. And it really annoys me. So I might need to get a new pin box anyway. But I probably would need to get another pin box so I can actually have more cards to open. And more packs to open, I mean. Duh. <laughs> This is like verging on almost 11 o'clock at night I'm doing this. And yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> Though considering I didn't go to sleep until like 5 something this morning. I've been awake for a long time. Right, so. That's it. Would you, I'm, I'm sure you'd agree that the Mew box beat out Mew 2 box by a landslide. So, thank you for watching, like, subscribe for more, ring the doorbell for notifications, over and out.